Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, or really any placement that you guys have in Taurus. Um, this is going to be your full moon lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. Um, this is taking place on June 5th through July 5th when we have the next full moon in Capricorn. So lunar eclipses are about polarity and relationships. And this one is asking us to look closely at our wants, our needs, and where we might be lacking in our lives. This particularly concerns the logical versus the intuitive, details versus higher truths. Ideally, a balance should be struck between the two. The Sagittarius energy of this full moon highlights communication, attitude, and our sense of adventure. Something's been really building inside of us, and now it's time to let it out. So this brings me to my final message, you guys. If you guys are looking to do any healing work, I encourage you to check out my friend Maria Paz Healing, a Reiki master and a powerful healer, and I've linked her um, website details down below, so please check her out. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. We're going to um, ask spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and our ascended masters to join us in this space and deliver us the messages that we need to hear. Messages for Taurus from June 5th through July 5th. Messages for Taurus from June 5th through July 5th. Messages for Taurus from June 5th through July 5th. Okay. Uh-oh, Taurus. It's time to walk away from something. Not so much what are you walking away from, what are you walking towards? Yeah. Wow, overall energy is the devil. So Capricorn got the same overall energy. There might be something in the Capricorn reading for you. The devil energy, this is about, you know, doing shadow work. It's about unhealthy attachments to people, places, food, jobs, thought processes, behavior patterns, drugs, sex, rock and roll. But the beauty of this card being in reverse is this is saying there's a lot of support for you to walk away. You know that the devil's kind of busy, so you can kind of sneak out. Okay, Taurus, and I see that. I see that you need to walk away. You need to walk away from someone or something. Most, a lot of these cards are upside down. So Taurus, you know, somebody, somebody here is feeling upside down. Um, and I, and you know, it's you or somebody has turned your world upside down or, you know, addiction, um, excess, um, has turned your world upside down. So you guys are coming out as the Queen of Swords energy and the Queen of Swords is um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Um, she's also this Virgo and Libra period, right? So that would be that September, October time frame. Um, the Queen of Swords, so again, remember we're going through retrograde, we're also being blasted with eclipse energy. So a lot of you, this reading is going to extend far past, you know, the next full moon and it's going to take us all the way up until that period. The Queen of Swords is all about logic and reason, but when she's in the reverse, she's somebody who is reacting poorly to some sort of situation. Now, Taurus, this could be your energy, okay, or it could be somebody else's energy in your energetic field or, you know, that you're experiencing or an energy that you're focused on. The Queen of Swords is oftentimes an X for me in these readings, um, so you could have been triggered. We do have Venus retrograding in Gemini, so you may have seen something online. You might have heard something from an X or about an X, and it has you really not in a good place. The Queen of Swords, um, again, it could be energy you're dealing with if it's not resonating with coming from within, but the Queen of Swords energy 
I think it's sort of really confirming for you how unhealthy this relationship or this situation really was. Because the Queen of Swords, you know, she's volatile. She's mean. Um, she's bitter because of her past experiences through everything she's been through. Um, she hasn't quite learned from those experiences, but she's holding on to the trauma and the disappointment, and that's how she reacts. And that's how other people perceive her. Now, the way people are perceiving you in this situation is the death card in reverse. This is scorpionic energy, but this is resisting some sort of change. So Taurus, somebody may have walked away from you or you may have walked away from someone, but either you or that person are not letting go. And this is an unhealthy connection. For some of you, this is going to be addictions. I mean, I'm seeing that really clearly, like it's come to the point where, you know, everybody's noticing like this needs to come. This is not you're not the same person. Again, this could be somebody that you're observing. You may not be in your life, but it's not the same person. You know, they're missing work. Okay, they've lost a lot of weight. Maybe they've put on a lot of weight, but you can see it on the outside because you can see what's going on in the inside. Somebody's holding on too tight to something that isn't for their highest good. Okay, and it's not good, Taurus. Now, what you need, the intentions that you need to set um, or what's blocking you is walking away releasing eight of cups you know the eight of cups is all about walking away Taurus you need to walk away from this even if you are very emotionally attached to this situation it is no longer doing you any good to have this person to be at this job to be in this situation and if I could sugarcoat it I would but you know you guys I can't do that for you because that's not for your highest good and that's not why you consult readings now <clears throat> number the next car out card out is what do you need to do to overcome these obstacles this is the six of pentacles this is charity for some of you guys this is asking for help some of you need help to go to you know a rehab program some of you need to maybe go and live with friends or family if you're in an abusive relationship um, some of you need to um, some of you may need to actually offer help to this person. Okay, so if this isn't you, but it's a family member or a loved one, this is extending, you know, it could be, it's not so much like an intervention, but it's extending um, support. Now, the Six of Pentacles is about an equal exchange. So also coming to the realization that if you're in a situation that is taking more than it's giving, again, for those of you who have battled with drug addiction, um, you know, if you're doing everything just to get that next high, or if you're just getting through the day just so you can have that next drink, okay, that's not an equal enjoyable situation, okay? And I speak from experience here, you guys. It's not easy, but you have to really focus on balance and alignment, and you also have to see why. You have to look at the why you're in this situation. If it's an abusive relationship, if it's an addiction, if it's a job that doesn't pay you what you're worth, you need to really go in and figure out why. Why do I feel like I don't deserve an equal? Why do I why do I have to hurt myself? Why do I have to accept somebody hurting me or not paying me or not giving me the attention I deserve or what have you? Because that's going to be the real root of the problem and it's not about um it's not about being hard on yourself. It's not about um you know, it's not about cutting yourself down. It's not about finding blame, okay? But it's about getting to the root of the problem and dealing with it because we need balance. We need balance. Relationships need to be balanced and that include that's included with the relationship you have with yourself. Some of you might be doing inner child work as well. The next card out is what can you do within in order to help achieve these desires? This is the Ten of Pentacles as soon as I looked at this card, it's like coming to the realization, Taurus, that whatever this addiction or imbalance is, it's taking everything away from you that you value. This is a very specific message, Taurus, and I do apologize if it doesn't resonate with you, but whether this is a relationship, for some of you, it might be a relationship and it might be in a very abusive relationship. And you're being isolated from your friends, from your family. You're not performing the way you should be at work. And I don't know if everybody realizes what's going on, but it's taking, and at the very least, it's taking away your self-worth and your self-esteem. And this needs to come to an end. I know some of you aren't going to like this message, and I do apologize, but from somebody who's been through almost everything here I've mentioned, this is what happens when 
you don't when you don't you're not even noticing when you're dealing okay when you're just getting by when you're not able to see the big picture or somebody's made you believe you're not enough or you also believe you're not enough and you buy into that okay the ten of pentacles is also about finding a non-traditional approach to your problems um sorry i kicked the camera the Ten of Pentacles is about taking a, you know, it's a, a, one of my favorite readers, Gemstone Tarot. She always says it's like running away with the circus, you know, and again, we get all of this running away. Some of you guys, you're trapped in an extremely dogmatic system of beliefs. It could be, you know, like a religious, you know, cult or sect, or it could just be the values that you are brought up with that don't resonate with you anymore. For others of you, it's about being trapped in a marriage, maybe because of money, maybe because you're comfortable there for whatever reason. And this, and we need to, in this case, spirit saying you need to shift your perspective and see what's really important because you're losing so much more than that. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you guys. Taurus, this is a heavy message. The next card is, what can you learn from the outside world or others to help you manifest your goals and your desires? Yeah, there's a need for focus. You're trying to balance. The Two of Pentacles is all about, you know, handling everything with grace, you know, and good humor and getting through it. But that's not happening here. One of these, you know, the, the shoe is going to drop. The other shoe is going to drop. You can't do it all on your own. You can't. You can't keep this up forever. So, for some of you that are that are dealing with drugs, um, if you are dealing with alcohol, you know, yeah, I think people at work are starting to notice. Your family is starting to notice, and you can, you know, like pop mint, pop mints, or you know, what was one is like eat a tomato, right? That takes that alcohol breath away. You know, you can do that for only so long before, you know, before maybe you lose your job or you lose your family. Okay, and so it's really important that you, you have that singular focus on what's important to you. Because I see here, Taurus, I see a risk of losing everything. I really do. That's what the King of Wands in reverse is just this reacting. We have the Queen of Swords and the King of Wands. This might be your partnership. Again, for not for all of you, is this going to be drugs and alcohol? And I, again, I'm just going to apologize because I know that the message is really intense. But the Queen and the King of Wands, I mean, the Queen of Swords, she's quite nasty. The King of Wands is also quite nasty. This is a very, this is a heated battle. I, if you guys are in a, an abusive relationship, you guys might really go at it. But you have to understand that physical violence has no place in loving relationships. None. None. Zero tolerance. Even if they were drunk. Even if you messed up. Physical violence, emotional abuse, none of that has any place in a loving relationship. And I know that you don't always need to hear it, but sometimes we need to hear it 10 times before we accept it. And 10 times before we understand that I can't do this. And that, that you can't do this or you're going to lose everything. All right, Taurus, I'm sorry if I'm scolding you. I, it's I love you and I want you all to be safe. I want you to be healthy. Spirit's telling me you have a real opportunity. You have to put in the work though. Look at this. The eight of pentacles, putting in the work, taking it day by day, step by step, making a plan, focusing on what's important, focusing on something that is going to make your life better. Okay? And what is that? Temperance, sobriety, healing, health. This is a reminder that you have people and you have, you know, in the spiritual and in the physical world, support. This is an earth angel. This is healing. Temperance is sobriety. Temperance is also all about finding that middle ground. So if it doesn't resonate with you as far as addictions, you guys, it's that middle ground. Sometimes reacting is the best reaction of all, especially if you, this King of Wands, he loses his S-H-I-T, and this is a fiery battle, okay? This is brutality. This is that fierce aggression. That's This is that volcanic explosion that leads to God knows what, right? But if this is a couple, I'm seeing that you guys fight, and you fight fiercely, and I'm going to repeat myself that physical violence and emotional abuse has no place in loving relationships. It's not love. 
31, opening the door to value, recognizing your worth, recognizing that you deserve a healthy exchange, whether it's a job or relationship, whether it's what you eat and what you drink, right? Anxiety, yes. 18 breaks down to a nine. I get it. This situation is fueled by anxiety. It's scary. But this is a beautiful journey. I, and I, I feel my Taurians out there. I feel like you're taking this journey. This journey you might have to take alone. For some of you, it's packing your bags in the middle of the night and it's getting out. For others of you, it's saying, hey, I'm taking the kids. I'm going to my mom's for the weekend. Okay, or, you know, my brothers or wherever. Okay, this journey card, but it's a beautiful journey. And it's time, Taurus, to, to take that journey. Goddess of the Moon, 52, breaks down to a 7. So this is using your intuition. This is the clarity that will come from taking this journey, from making this move, for taking action. Okay, so from leaving so this, this toxic energy behind. Yes, it's going to bring you anxiety, but it's also going to open up all of these doors. And I feel like you're going to make this transition and this transformation into somebody that you didn't even recognize. Yep. And soon, once you once you get into that healthy space, you're going to start attracting healthy people. You know, the goddess of the moon, she's going to all of a sudden, she's going to attract the sun. And what does the sun card represent? Happiness, optimism, co-creation, you know, standing in the sun. And a goddess now attracts her god, or a god now attracts, you know, his counterpart. But you have to, you have, you have to take the first step, Taurus. All right, let's go ahead and see what additional messages we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. Did I not just say that? Did I not just say that this transformation, you're going to be unrecognizable. This is a major glow up, Taurus. But you have to let go of something. You have to walk away from someone or something. And I know it's scary, believe me. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. So 29 breaks down to an 11. So you're flanked here by 1111. Some of you might be seeing that number when you look at the clock or you might just be looking at, you know, whatever it is, analytics or your bill or something like that. 1111. This is also, this could be, this could be, you know, a twin flame or a soulmate journey. And it could be wrapping up a karmic completion, something that's just become so toxic before you can do that. And this transformation, again, is going to put you in that space and in that energy to attract what you really, truly are. Okay, and it's not this Queen of Swords, King of Wands and Reverse energy. Mm -mm. It's going to be beautiful, Taurus. And but there's a journey ahead of you. It's not going to be easy, but there is a journey ahead of you. Athena, inner wisdom. Look at that. The owl seeing the big picture. The same here, stepping back. When you put some time and some distance between you and this relationship or you and this job or you and this, this behavior, you're going to see how much damage it was doing, how much it was taking away from you. Okay, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. You guys, the message doesn't get more clear than that. Seriously, it's time. You need to walk away. This is no good. There's a lot of healing, maybe sobriety for you. Because once you do, this is this card of attraction, doing the work. You're going to have this beautiful life that you never thought was even possible, that you never thought was possible. And you know what I can't help but notice down here? We have the Queen of Wands, and in the center of the reading was the King of Wands in reverse, which I also feel like, Taurus, this could be your energy. But once you turn yourself right side up, guess who comes? Guess who comes to meet you? And whether that's your higher self or that's balancing the masculine and the feminine within, or is it that person that you've always wanted and always needed? There's a lot of union taking place, you guys, but if you're anchored in a negative space and you're dealing with addictions... It's stuff you have to work on. You don't want to take that with you into the new era. So really go ahead, check and see what you need to let go of.
it's going to be different for all of you. And I'm not scolding you. I love you. I support you. I've been through this. Okay? So take it from me. Your life is going to look completely different. And it, it, it's going to suck. There are parts of it that are going to suck. This anxiety. But we need ups to have downs. And you have the strength to do it. And you have no idea the blessings that are waiting for you. You may not be able to see them right now. And you also have support that you're not expecting. Okay, support to either get clean, support to get out or to live somewhere where you're safe, support from friends and family, maybe it's financial support. Okay, this card confirms that. You just have to look up because there are people that want to help you. I know that. And this 1111 card, it's faded. All right, Taurus, it's time to take action. You know what to do. I love you guys. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you for all your love and support, and I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.